Hey guys, uh, today's video we're going to talk a little bit about center of gravity and uh, types of equilibrium, okay? Alright, so what exactly is the center of gravity, okay? So let's see. Let's say I have a rod or meter rule, any object, a uniform object, um, a certain, of a certain length. Okay, I am safe to say that uh, since this is matter, every single part of the object actually has a certain weight. So if I were to draw the uh, forces, okay, you can actually say that it is uh, uniformly distributed, right? Because each part actually has got certain matter inside, so it has a certain weight. Okay, what I can do also is to replace all these with a single large force. So I sum all this up and boom, check this out, okay? I've got one large force replacing all those small forces there. Alright, so as you can see, this large force is actually right smack in the center of the object. So for any object, so what is the center of gravity? Okay, center of gravity is basically just a point at which the entire weight of an object appears to act. Okay, this is the key here. Alright, it doesn't, it's not where, where the entire weight is acting, but the entire weight appears to act. That means, what that means is that actually in real life, this doesn't, uh, the all the weight does is not risk really concentrated at one point, but it's all balances. You can actually consider the resultant force to be coming from this particular point here, so it appears to act. Okay, all right. So let's look at the with that in mind on center of gravity. Let's go straight into the types of equilibrium. Okay, so let's say I've got an inverted cone over here. Okay, what I'm going to do to the cone? Let's say I want to tilt it and displace it slightly. Uh, before that, uh, what do I have in a cone? I got a center of gravity marked with a letter X. And the force of the center of gravity acting downwards. Okay, and that is actually uh, uh, equivalent to the weight. Okay, so if I have to tilt it slightly, check out what happens. Okay, when you tilt it slightly, uh, you actually see that there's a pivot here. And there's a small perpendicular distance here. So what kind of moment does it give you? That's right, it gives you a anti-clockwise moment. So what happens after this? You tilt it slightly, it gives you an anti-clockwise moment and it will boom, go back to the original position. Okay, that's why we call it stable equilibrium. Stable basically means if you tilt it slightly, it will tend to go back to its original position. Okay, what's the other type? You're right, let's look at unstable equilibrium next. Okay, unstable equilibrium over here, you can see uh, just basically an inverted cone here. Uh, well, same thing with the center of gravity and the weight going through it. So if I were to tilt it slightly, you can see with a perpendicular distance D against from the line of action of the force to the pivot, it gives you a clockwise moment. So clockwise moment does it return back to the original position? Yeah, you're right. It doesn't. So what happens if it doesn't? Boom! All right, topples over. So basically, this means it is an unstable equilibrium. Okay. Third one will be third type of uh, equilibrium will be a neutral neutral equilibrium. For example, if you have a ball here, um, center of gravity and a weight running through it vertically, if you have to move a ball. Okay, just as you know, you move a ball anywhere, it will basically just stay there. It doesn't move back. It doesn't roll away so on the ground flat ground floor you will basically just stay where it is so that's what it's called neutral equilibrium okay so now just looking three types of equilibrium okay you can see for stable equilibrium what happens okay stable equilibrium as i move tilt it slightly can you see what happens to the, my cg so gravity actually moves moves up right so the center of gravity rises what about unstable equilibrium what can you say about the center of gravity so i tilt it slightly can you see it actually falls so the cg falls for unstable equilibrium and finally for neutral equilibrium you're right the center of gravity remains always at the same height all right we have a video on three types of equilibrium all right uh, see you in the next